Hey guys, it's Kevin again, and this is going to be my September movie preview show, which if you guys don't know what I do is I talk about all the movies that are coming out in September for you guys. I know a lot of you like to watch this, um, to watch these videos. Um, they're very informative videos. I talk about if I'm going to see these movies or not. I talk about when they're coming out. And, uh, yeah, so September has a lot of really good movies. You know, September is kind of the time where we start to get some of those, like, Oscar contender sort of movies. Those are the kind of movies we start to get, those, like, Oscar contender ones. For example, we had, like, Prisoners last year, which was awesome. Um, we had stuff like that. And this year is no exception. A lot of really good movies in September. I don't know if they'll all be Oscar contenders, but some really good movies, definitely, that I really want to talk about. Although the first one, obviously, is not going to be Oscar contender, because it's a re-release. Now, you know once a year they do a re-release. Uh, last year, I believe it was... Um, the Wizard of Oz. Thank you, Caden. Last year was The Wizard of Oz. year before that was Jurassic Park. year before that was Titanic. And this year, they're doing Forrest Gump. Um, Forrest Gump is going to be re-released in IMAX for one week, I, be for, I think for only one week only, um, yeah, for only one week, and, um, I'm really looking forward to it, I mean, I really love Forrest Gump, it's always gonna be one of my favorite movies, I'm always gonna love Forrest Gump, I've always thought it's a great movie, and it's just a terrific movie, in my opinion, I've always really liked it. And, um, I don't know if I'll see it in theaters. Uh, we'll have to see. I mean, it should be real. The thing I really like that they're doing with this is it's going to bring people that are not as aware as Forrest Gump, which I'm sure there aren't people, like, say, younger people who aren't, who don't know Forrest Gump as well. It's going to make them introduced to Forrest Gump, and that's going to be great for them because they're going to get to experience one of the best movies of all time, so... I mean, I'm really happy that they'll get to see it, and I think it's great that they're re-releasing Forrest Gump back in theaters. Definitely really looking forward to that one. But Forrest Gump will be released uh, September 5th. Now, the only other movie coming out September 5th, I actually want to talk about this. I didn't know what this was. I randomly looked at this movie called The Identical. I've never heard about it, and it actually looks pretty cool. It's uh, basically about what would happen if Elvis Presley's um, twin brother, who was a stillborn had lived, what would have happened? Now, in the movie, they changed his name to Drexel Hemsley just for copyright reasons, but it looks really good. The cast looks really good. Ray Liotta, who, of course, is, is great in Goodfellas. Ashley Judd, Seth Green, very good cast, in my opinion. Um, looks like a really good movie, definitely. I don't know, you know, how it's going to be, but from the trailer, it looks really good. I'm looking forward to it. I think it could be definitely really cool, especially the fact that his brother ends up becoming, like, an El um, a Drexel Hemsley's, Im like, impersonator. I think that's really cool, definitely, and I really want to see the identical. I think it looks really good. I don't know how it's going to be in theaters or whatever, but I am really looking forward to the identical. So the identical, I do want to check that one out. Now, September 12th, we have a lot of movies coming out. We have three... all. Th Two of these I really want to see, the other one I'm not so sure about. Let's get to the one I'm not so sure about first. First off, we have Dolphin Tale 2. Now, I saw the first Dolphin Tale a while ago. It was nothing that special. It was a good movie, but it's nothing that special, in my opinion. I enjoyed it, but it was nothing like, oh my god, Dolphin Tale. It was nothing like that. Um... Dolphin Tale 2 looks okay. I like the premise of it and everything, but I just don't know what this movie. I really don't know what Dolphin Tale 2. I guess we'll just have to see. I honestly just, I have no idea how Dolphin Tale 2 is going to be. I just, I really don't know, guys. I really don't know in terms of Dolphin Tale 2. I don't know how to, you know, how that movie is going to be. I guess we'll just have to see what happens with uh, Dolphin Tale 2. So, yeah. Dolphin Tale 2, I don't know how this movie is going to be. I don't know what's going to happen with it, but, um... If you guys do want to see Dolphin Tale 2, it does come out September 12th. The other two movies coming out, though, I definitely do want to see. First off, we have The Drop. Now, I've been hearing numerous things about The Drop, and um, everyone's, you know, saying, like, it's, it could be an Oscar contender, and I can definitely see that happening. First of all, it has Tom Hardy, who just was in one of the best movies of the year, Locke, so the question is, can he do a better performance in this? And also is James Gandolfini's last theatrical movie. Yes, Enough Said was not his last movie, thank God. Um... The drop looks awesome. It looks like a. It actually looks like a Martin Scorsese movie to me. I think it looks really good. I really want to see it. I think it could be a really good movie. Definitely really looking forward to the drop. I mean, it just looks really good in my opinion. Definitely, I'm really looking forward to it. 
And yeah, so the drop looks really awesome, in my opinion. Really just looking forward to that movie. Um, so yeah, the drop looks really good. Definitely want to see it. Um, I'm probably going to see it in theaters, definitely. It looks really good. Now, the other movie that's coming out. I saw a trailer for this um, when I was watching Finding Carter, I believe. And I uh, saw a trailer for it. It looks a very interesting premise, and it's called No Good Deed. And uh, this movie's about this man who supposedly his car broke down, and he ha because of his car breaking down, he goes into this woman's house. Um, now, this woman is, you know, um, not really thinking. She just lets him into her house. And basically, the question is, is he really, can she really trust him and everything? It's one of those kind of movies. It looks really good, in my opinion. Idris Elba. I'm sure, like, it is probably going to be, I mean, the woman probably is going to be kind of dumb in the movie. Because, I mean, she just randomly lets this man into her house. But it looks good, in my opinion. I do want to see it. I think it looks like a cool movie. I don't know. Cool idea, nothing original, kind of looks like The Purge, but better, um, you know, kind of looks like The Purge, but, like, a lot better than The Purge, nothing like The Purge at all, um, looks like a better version of it. I do want to see it, I don't really know how that movie, how it's gonna be, but I guess we'll just have to see what happens with No Good Deed, I do definitely want to see that one, so we'll have to see. Next movie, though, this one I really want to talk about. Now, this movie, um, is a movie that I've been wanting to see for a very long time. I saw the trailer for it, I believe, back in, like, April, and ever since then, I've really wanted to see it, The Maze Runner. Now, The Maze Runner is a very big movie because it has Dylan O'Brien. Now, Dylan O'Brien, of course, is in Team Wolf. He plays Styles, and Team Wolf is one of the most, like, theatrical shows on TV. Team Wolf feels like a movie. And Dylan O'Brien is by far the best actor on Team Wolf, so I definitely really want to see this movie. It has a really cool premise. I know what you're saying, oh, it's another teen book series, but I think this could be a really cool premise. It looks like a good movie. I do want to see it. I don't know if it's going to be as good as it looks, but I guess we'll just have to see with The Maze Runner. I really do want to see it. I think it looks pretty cool, and yeah, I definitely do want to see The Maze Runner. It's also going to be released in IMAX, so that's a good thing as well. So Maze Runner, definitely do want to see that one. September 19th also, though, the same day that The Maze Runner comes out, we have another movie that um, looks very funny to me. I saw the trailer for this during Boyhood, and I think this movie could be very funny. It's called This Is Where I Leave You. Now, this movie's about um, their, um, a group of siblings who their father has died. They're all reuniting together. They're not really... They're kind of like a dysfunctional family. And their father's last request was for all of his family to be together under one roof. So their mother basically grounds them and keeps them, like, basically in this room together. And it looks really funny, in my opinion. It has a really good cast. You got Jason Bateman, Tina Fey, Jane Fonda, Timothy Oliphant from Justified, uh, Rose Byrne, Ari Grainer, Adam Driver, Connie Britton. Just so many good people in this cast, really. It looks like a really funny movie. I think could be very funny. Jason Bateman's always funny, definitely. Even in things like Identity Thief, which I didn't really like. Um, you know, even though I even though I didn't really like that one. I do think it could definitely be a really good movie. I definitely do um, you know, want I do think I, I definitely do want to see it. This is where I leave you does look very good in my opinion. Definitely do want to check that one out. So this is where I leave you. Yes, I do want to check that out. Alright, also September 19th. This one I'm really looking forward to as well. Now, this is Kevin Smith's next movie. His last movie, Red State, didn't really work out. I heard it was one of those love it or hate it kind of movies. It was this dark horror kind of movie. And this looks kind of different. It's it's a more of a uh, comic, comedic type of horror movie. It looks like a horror movie, but it's got comedy in there as well. And it has a pretty good cast. You got Justin Lawn, Haley Joel Osment, Johnny Depp. Really good cast, in my opinion. Tusk, I definitely do want to see this. I think it could be a very good movie. Um, I, again, I really do want to see it. I saw the trailer for it. It looks like a really good sort of, like, um, I don't want to say parody of horror movies. It kind of looks like that in the beginning, and then it gets, like, really serious, so I don't know what this movie's gonna be. I feel like it's gonna be one of those movies where it looks like it's gonna be, like, a really serious type of horror movie, but ends up being, like, really silly. I think that's what it could be, and if it is that, I think it could be really cool, actually. I think it could be a cool idea, a cool, um, premise, and I definitely do want to check out, um, Tusk. I think it does look very good. Next movie we have is a movie that I have not even heard of till now. Honestly, the marketing for this movie has not been the best. I've never even heard of this. A Walk Among the Tombstones. Now, I just saw the trailer for it. It looks really good. It's another Liam Neeson movie. It kind of looks like Taken 3, only instead of his daughter gets taken, his wife gets taken. Um, 
it looks good in my opinion. I think it actually looks a little bit better than nonstop. I like the whole idea of him like not being a cop anymore. I like that idea. I think it looks good in my opinion. I do definitely want to see a walk among the tombstones. It does look very good in my opinion. Don't know if I'll see it in theaters, but I definitely do want to see walk among the tombstones. It does look quite good. And the last movie we're going to talk about, this is a movie that I want to see for a very long time, ever since I saw the trailer for it. It looks really awesome, in my opinion. Just really, it looks awesome. And that movie is The Equalizer. The Equalizer will finally be coming out September 26th, and I am so excited for this movie. You got Denzel, who's a badass, and then you also have Chloe Grace Moretz, who's hot as fuck. I mean, is great in all these in all these movies, definitely. If I Stay was not good, and my I, I if I Stay I heard was not good, but I think this movie could be very good. I'm really looking forward to it. I just want a really fun action movie here. I think it would be a really fun action movie. You can actually call the Equalizer, which I recommend you don't because I think it's a real number. Um, but you can actually call him. They're actually like promoting it, and I think that's kind of cool. But um, the Equalizer definitely looks like a very good movie. I really like the idea of it. Definitely it looks really cool. I'm really looking forward to watching the Equalizer. It looks like a really badass movie, and I definitely do want to see the Equalizer. And that's pretty much it for all the movies coming out in um, in um, um, bleh, in September. That's really it for all the movies coming out in September. Again, I am going to talk about the movies that I am going to see in theaters. I do want to check out. Um, I do want to check out the identical. Whether I rent it or watch it, I'm going to try to watch it no matter what. But the ones I definitely am going to see in theaters are The Drop. I'm definitely seeing that in theaters. I don't care. I'm definitely seeing that. No Good Deed, I really want to see in theaters. I think it could be really good, depending on reviews. I feel like it's not going to get good reviews. I don't know why. Uh, Maze Runner, definitely want to see that one in theaters. Tusk, yes, I do want to see that. And also The Equalizer. Walk Among the Tombstones, maybe. September really has a lot of really good movies, minus Dolphin Tale 2, really. Dolphin Tale 2 is the only one where I don't really want to see it. All the other movies I really do want to see. Forrest Gump and IMAX, I don't know. I'll probably see it. We'll have to see. But, um, that's really it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your most anticipated movie of this month is. Um, I will see you guys in my next video, which will be my review for tonight's episode of Outlander. So, I'll see you guys for that. Okay, bye. Sorry, guys. I completely forgot about the movie. I'm such an idiot today. Um, I completely forgot about this movie. Um, also, it's coming out September 26th, same time as The Equalizer, is The Box Trolls. I can't believe I forgot about this. And it looks really good, definitely, especially because it's from Leica, who, you know, makes movies like Coraline and Paranorman. Not really movies for younger kids, but movies for people more like, you know, older and people my age and things like that. I definitely want to see The Box Trolls. It looks really good. It has a really good cast. Elle Fanning, Ben Kingsley, Tony Collette, Simon, P Simon Pegg, and Nick Frost are even in this movie. So that could be really fun. Um, I think it could definitely be a really good movie. I don't know too much of what it's about, but honestly, that's a good thing because I really don't know too much about it. And it looks really good, definitely. I think it could definitely be one of the best anime movies of the year, and I definitely do want to see The Box Trolls. But yeah, The Box Trolls is coming out September 26th. If you guys want to check it out, it does come out then. And also, The Equalizer is going to be released in IMAX. Um, I forgot to say that. Um, so yeah, you guys can, can see it in IMAX. And also, The Box Trolls will be released in 3D. So yeah. Sorry, guys. Completely forgot about that. But you know what? I just completely forgot. I thought I should tell you guys. So yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in my next video. Okay, bye.